Hey YouTubers, a working man's pride here today. I just want to make a a little video on this Dixon ZTR424. So let's do a story and a walk around. I'm gonna tell you a little history on this thing. So if I turn around and look behind me, past all my other 17 riding mowers. On the other side of that fence, that yard, is where this mower used to be. On the other side of this fence. And there was an older man that lived there and he passed away a couple months ago. Now he got dementia a, a few years ago and fought that for a few years before he passed. This is what he used to mow with. And... I've never seen him use a different mower. Well, he did use, um, he did have two other riders, but this is the one that he pretty much always used to cut his grass with before he even got the other two. He would always preferably pick this one. And I remember coming out to the backyard and looking over that fence and he would mow his big freaking yard with that Dixon and if you look right there that building right there that my fingers pointing right to that's where he used to keep the thing and that's his old house he's got all the yard up in there it's a lot so he used to mow his yard with this thing and like I said, when he got dementia, he could no longer function properly. So he couldn't mow anymore. So his daughter, Dreama, took over and her husband, Johnny, they would mow with the two other riders they had. Um, they didn't use this one because this was his mower. He really liked this one. It's the one he used. But when he got to the point where he was unable to mow his lawn himself, I think I might have seen Dream on this one like maybe once or twice, but it sat for years. And, and it sat outside, as you can tell, for years. After he couldn't get it, after he physically got to the point where he couldn't do it anymore, this mower got parked and it sat. This is a Dixon... ZTR 424 and I'm making this video because I don't see a lot of these on YouTube That seat on there is not original. Um, I am going to put that out there right now It is not original as you can see right here That's what I used to tow it with last night. I got it home at 9 o'clock for years and years before I've had any of the 17 mowers behind me I've been trying to get this thing because it had been parked over there in his field in the weeds in the rain for years and every once in a blue moon i'd go over there and, and see if it was still there and of course it, it was it was still there but one time i went over there and it was gone didn't know what ever happened to it come to find out my neighbor chris had it he raised cane about it until he got it and i went to buy two other mowers from him a couple days ago and noticed he had this and I was like that's where that thing went I've been looking for it I never knew what happened to it he's like I've been raising cane about that thing for years I was like I have too and they wouldn't sell it to me but I think almost it was a couple of months before uh, Mr. Armstrong passed away that he had got this um, they said if when I had tried to buy it whenever you know, Mr. Armstrong gets better, he's going to get it up and going and mow with it again, which he, sadly enough, never did get better. But, uh, his mower has come to a good home. Um, I am going to get a cover made for it, probably specially made. So let's do a little walk around. That was just a little history. Now, these headlights, don't know if they work or not. Um, this engine is not, obviously, the original engine. When I did some research... That seat can technically fit two people, 
not really sure why he built that seat but i'm going to be honest with you i'm not getting rid of that seat i am i might have i'm going to have to obviously recover it reupholster it and either repaint that piece of wood or replace it and paint it but i like the seat idea it's a little bench seat so i am going to keep this i'm definitely going to keep the seat i like the seat um this is a zero turn, it's chain driven. As you can see, no hydraulics, there's a chain right there. There's the other chain. So, an immediate problem with this engine is other than it not being original, the original engine was a Briggs and Strat and, and it was a flathead. It didn't have an overhead valve. So the, the exhaust muffler was right below the carburetor on the side where this gas tank is, saying that the head is right here. But see, if you can see right here, this battery was new when Chris had put it in. He got it running. He showed me a video of him um, riding it. But it melted a hole. I don't know if y'all can see. But there's a hole melted in the battery. Now come under here. And that battery, I'm going to have to put some baking soda on all of this metal to neutralize that acid before it eats the frame. Well, to the point where... It there is no mower this mower this engine on here has been sitting out in the rain for years but apparently it's good uh, it's not going to stay on there when i do get it running because that i did some research that battery it's in the right place it's just the wrong engine i do have some briggs and stratton flat heads and i'm going to repower this thing with a flat head engine on it <clears throat> Because uh, that exhaust is going to be an issue unless I take it, which I probably will for the time being, run a different exhaust system. That way it doesn't try to melt the battery on it. But just a little history I wanted to share with you guys. It's a Dixon ZTR424. There's not a lot of information on YouTube about this specific 424 Dixon, especially... The drive system, I don't know, maybe there's just not that many of them left out there, or maybe uh, they don't commonly break, I, I don't know, but I know that I will be posting more videos on this mower to help you guys out. Though all the videos that I've seen are old videos from years and years ago, so this is a, well, a very new video if you're watching it. So, yep. Uh, stay tuned for this <clears throat> rider when I get it up and going I'll put a video of me driving it get the headlights going uh, it's gonna be fully restored back all original um, except for the seat basically the way it sits right now is how it's gonna be restored back but basically new condition seats staying the same I want to keep some of the patina on it um, I'm not going to like modify it or change any of the colors on it. The engine might be the only thing that I don't keep, as you see right now, original. I might put the actual original engine back on it, a Briggs flathead. I um, guess he wore that one out and put this one on there. I don't know. I don't know a lot of the history on this mower. I do know that this thing was in a local parade and they had pictures of it a long, long, long time ago. So... But I thought I'd make a video on it and share this with y'all. So thanks for watching and stay updated and tuned for more videos on this Dixon Zero Turn ZTR 424 riding mower. Thanks for watching. War Command Spread.